poor little fella has a very upset stomach. Or really just, I've been hairballing a couple of times today. He seems to be doing okay. He's a little on the lethargic side, but this is a normal time of day for him to be lethargic, so. Just look how cute he is. Sitting in a sunbeam. Yeah. Good kitten internet. It's hi, Yasin. Good kitten internet. Uh, something a little different. Uh, still not doing my planned vlogs, but that's okay. Life's been utter hell, and I want to do something a little happier today. So I want to talk about my favorite thing that I watch on Twitch. Uh, it's... So, let me... So it is called Clear Skies. It is a live play series of, in this case, Star Trek Adventures role-playing system with a group of people that have collectively decided to call themselves the Stream Punks. Uh, I am a patron supporter of Eric Campbell, who's the GM. Uh, not only am I a patron supporter, you'll see my name as the first name on the credits for Clear Skies if you watch it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it's... I've been watching who are now known as the Stream Punks, but... Eric Campbell and his group, which have changed a little bit over the years, since um, that would be four series ago now. So they first started off, um, Eric Campbell was a writer for Felicia Day, um, hired by Geek and Sundry, way back when Geek and Sundry was still a thing and not just a husk of a channel. Um, eventually he was given his own show, which became Eric's To Be Determined RPG, or TBD RPG, which turned into nothing but Doctor Who RPG, by the way. I did not watch that. Um, the next series that he did was Shield of Tomorrow, still under Geek and Sundry, and I started watching Shield of Tomorrow toward the end. Uh, it was on a, their paid streaming service called Alpha which I had subscribed to to support Critical Role at the time. Um, and be quickly became spellbound with Shield of Tomorrow. After Shield of Tomorrow ended, after a long number of episodes, uh, their next series was Callisto 6, which I have talked about in a vlog before. Uh, Callisto 6 is complete. You can catch seasons 1 and 2 on YouTube. Unfortunately, season 3 was that uh, streaming service only, which has since closed. So there's currently no way of watching season three of Callisto 6. If I would have known, I may have yarhard it. I did not. I've watched it, but nobody else can, unfortunately. But, um, so Eric Campbell left Geek and Sundry. The others were just independent contractors, technically. And he started up his own company called The Stream Punks. And they do streaming... Let's... Uh, live plays of games. So the one that they're doing now is Clear Skies, which is very similar to Shield of Tomorrow. Um, it has a delightful cast. And so there's a reason why I'm mentioning this today of all days. Not just because I finished watching the most recent episode today, but whatever. Um, so Callisto 6 defined their genre as hope punk. The idea that, yeah, it's a shadow punk like society, uh, or super punk, as the case may be. But there was a constant emphasis of hope that things can be better, things can improve, and that resonated with me quite a bit. Um, oh, by the way, second kitty based role playing shirt. Let's see, D20. The D4 up there, guineas everywhere, D6, uh, the D8 somewhere too. I can't see it through the camera very well. Anyway, um, I have not really been able to handle much of anything that's been going on. This has been fairly obvious. And what I really need right now is hope. Um, and to see people... Not just a group of people who enjoy being around each other, laughing, joking around, playing around, 
but also the fact that their story is also inherently hopeful. Um, Clear Skies is definitely Star Trek more in the vein of Next Generation rather than Deep Space Nine, which, ironically, I'd much prefer Deep Space Nine for TV, but right now that's not what I want. I don't want the deep, dark thoughts of what are people in the pale moonlight type of thing. What I want is that things will be good again, and people can strive for good things, regardless of where they were before. And Clear Skies does that. So, if you have an enormous amount of time on your hands, each Clear Skies episode is about three hours. That includes a roughly 15 minute break. It's supposed to be 10 minutes, it never is. Um, it has a diverse cast of characters, or of actors. Um, in fact, I don't even know if there's a single straight member of the cast. Not to mention um, the... Let's see. So there's two men, three women, two Envy for the cast. Um, for this cast, I should say, because they're going to be starting up another one of... Um, a Klingon game that will not have anybody who's white in the game. So that'll be interesting. Um, and mostly people that I don't know. But that's not started yet. It's got delayed due to pandemic. Uh, at the moment they're streaming from home. They were streaming in a studio before. And it's not a high, like high production value production. This is not Critical Role. This is not anything like that. This is people enjoying each other's presence and trying to tell a good story. I think we can use that right about now. I'm going to head out, Internet. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow.